Hi everyone. Yep, how you doing guys? Get everyone in the chat. Let's see how we're doing here. Got the chat on the iPad next to me. Got the screen up and hopefully things are still going okay for the desktop audio. Now I need to know if you can hear <clears throat> not only me, but I also want to know how well you can hear the game itself. Uh, the game itself doesn't seem to be showing as coming up on the volume at the moment. So if you can hear like a little violin in the background um, or things like that, then do let me know because I'll need to know. So audio is good. Okay, nice to know. But is that audio just from my voice or can you hear the game music as well? If you can't hear the game music, then that's going to be irritating considering it was working before. No game sound, right? Okay, so something is going weird there because that should be working fine. Let's see if I can uh, resolve that very quickly. If I remove desktop audio and then add it back in, that should solve that. Add existing desktop audio. Properties from speaker's headphone. Right, how about that then, guys? How about that? That should be recording it better. But I need to know if you can hear me fine over the game music itself, otherwise I will tweak the decibels. There we go. Okay, right, well, just let me know if it's uh, drowning myself out, but it should be okay. It's obviously a lot louder for me at this end than it is for you, because I've turned it down. So, okay, all right, well, I can see the chat down there, so let's get into this. This is obviously for Wingspan. Wingspan, new digital board game. I asked very nicely, and Monster Couch were very kind enough to lend me a Steam code in exchange for a vid. Now, I have not played this yet. All I have done is gone through the menus and browsed the tutorial just to get an idea of the UI, but that's about it. I'm not gonna go through the tutorial at this stage because I'm hoping most people who play this have played the game, but failing that, I will basically just explain what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, okay, so turn it slightly down. Okay, fine, I will um, I'll turn it down. I'm on minus 23 decibels for desktop music, so hopefully that should be nice. Going back to this. <clears throat> so, throat's not too bad, but it's difficult to talk for a long time before I need a drink. So I have got, uh, shall we say, a lot of fluids nearby <laughs> as emergency drink. So hopefully I'll be able to keep up, but I'm gonna try and not talk too loud. That usually helps. And after all, I'm just gonna sort of explain the game as I go through it. But yes, this is the digital version of Stonemaier's fantastic wingspan. Uh, in fact, it's so close to me right now. Well, I got my physical copy right here. So yes, it is definitely one in my collection I do enjoy. And this digital one looks pretty sweet. I mean, from the UI, I can tell it's already very nicely represented. I mean, this music is very soothing. You can even get it digitally on Steam if you buy it. Uh, not the most cheap, not the cheapest game in the world. I mean, it's talking like 13 to 15 quid for the app, which is quite a sizable amount of money, but if you're struggling to get Wingspan to the table or find a copy of it somewhere, then uh, hopefully this is the one for you. So let me go into Wingspan itself. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a delay in terms of chat and what I'm showing on the iPad. So, but ah, no, that looks pretty good. Test runs were good earlier. So let's get stuck in. As I say, I'm not gonna do a tutorial. I will simply explain what I'm doing. But as you can see, I can do the Autumner. I can do a custom game or the tutorial. Now, it's been a little while since I've done the Autumner, so I'm going to uh, ignore the Autumner and I'm going to do a custom game. And let's see who's in the chat at the moment anyway. Peter, Vala, Math, and now Craig. Hello to you all and hopefully hello to some more people later, but we'll see. Like I say, I'm not expecting tons of people to be watching this, but uh, if this goes well and looks good, then it means I can do more solo app plays in the future. So I was messing around with it earlier, so I can create uh, some AI. Now, I don't know how hard the easy and the normal AI is, so I'm gonna put one on easy, and I'm gonna put one on normal and see how that goes. 
Uh, you can choose a player color. Now this I really like. You can basically put like this weird little fee, like portrait over a background as your avatar. And it's, you only get this slot as a selection, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, it just looks very pretty. So let's, let's go with a duck, <laughs> big duck. And then you can pick this gorgeous artwork backdrops for your thing. So I'm going to pick uh, this lovely pond here. Uh, the AI can be yellow and be represented by... I'm going to go for animals. So you can be represented by badger in farthing wood or whatever that's going to be. And the other one can be blue and be represented by the somewhat um, obscure Skeksis that I've got there. Yeah, Skeksis is on the brain, um, mainly because Netflix have cancelled Age of Resistance Season 2, which has put me in a right mood. Stupid idiots cancelling one of my favourite shows. Honestly, even though they've cancelled it, if you have not seen Dark Crystal Age of Resistance on Netflix, do yourself a favour and watch it. It's fantastic. It is like... It's the Jim Henson Firefly, in a sense. You know, a series that has been cancelled before its prime... But, oh, it was so, so good. And I think we'll put uh, <laughs> Mad Skeksis there. So, uh, Golmat order. I think that's just random. And Golmat, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, but I'm just going to ignore it for now. So, let's just jump in. Hopefully, it will run fairly smoothly. This is a gaming laptop. But, of course, I am streaming. So, we will, uh, we will see. Okay, um, so... Eight turns, seven, six, five. Gold tiles. How can I easily see? All right, so let's see. Round one, I got to get birds with eggs that have cavity nests. Then I got to have birds in the water, eggs in the yellow, and birds in the green. So pretty much everything. There's no focus on these gold tiles. That's going to help me. Great. So which ones do I aim for, I guess? Uh, well, we'll see. I'm probably going to ignore this one, though, in the first round because it's a bit too specific and focus more about whether I'm going to have eggs or birds in general. I suppose it will depend on my starting hand. So, okay, let's have a look. Start on, I got a Bob White, Vulture, Burrowing Owl, Bushtit, and Franklin's Gull. Hmm. What's the aim? The aim of Wingspan, if you've not played it, is of course victory points, which is represented by the feathers on the cards, as well as various other things you get points for, like having eggs, having food on cards, uh, matching up with gold tiles, that kind of thing. And what you're doing is a tableau laying game where you collect food, uh, these types of food in the bottom, uh, bottom of the screen here, and you use it to play these birds that require different types of food in order to play and have to be played in certain habitats. You have your forest, your kind of plains and lakes, you know, ponds, and certain birds have to go in certain habitats, etc. And the idea is, is that these birds have special powers and abilities that activate when you do certain actions. So one action is to play a bird, and that sometimes requires eggs. Another one is to trigger the green, yellow, or blue habitat powers, which are gain food, gain eggs, or gain cards respectively and the more of these birds you have in the row the more powerful the action becomes and the the birds all trigger their respective powers so you get uh, pretty sweet combos going although i do not hold myself to be an expert at wingspan so we shall see so what have we got here the discard an egg to draw two cards that is very tempting actually especially if i put it in the yellow uh, that's pretty good. Tuck a card. Also lay a thing on this bird. I must admit, that Franklin's gull is looking very sweet, actually. Because if I put that in the yellow habitat, I can gain eggs, which is great. It's a wild nest, so it counts for the first, uh, first, um, goal already. And it means I won't have to put birds in the blue habitat, because I will be able to draw cards from that. So that is very tempting. I've never been a fan of these ones. You know, they're not worth many points. Yes, they don't cost food, but... I don't know. You have to rely on other people to have these. It's always not there. So I think I'm going to keep... Let's see. Choose five things to keep. So I'm definitely going to keep uh, the seagull. I'm definitely going to keep a fish and just any old food, really. It doesn't really matter. I'll keep a corn. All right. Turkey vulture. I suppose I could keep a turkey vulture just because it's cheap. I mean, that is a cheap bird and it is the right nest. Maybe that's not necessarily a bad idea. Uh, question is, where does it tell you where any... Oh, it tells you at the bottom how many eggs they can have. So, you know, he can only have one. And the gull can only have two. So, it doesn't leave me with a lot of eggs. 
Uh, maybe the Burrowing Owl. Roll all dice not in the bird feeder. Any rats gain a rat and cash it on the card. I mean, it could be nice. Uh, tuck a card from your hand behind this bird. If you do, also lay a thing on this. So maybe the bush tit, actually. I'm thinking bush tit. Because then if I put that in the yellow, I get to draw two cards, tuck a card, lay an egg, cash it. That will be a good combo, I think, actually. What have we got here? Aspect ratio of the game seems a bit squished. It will be because I'm using display capture. And even though it's full screen on my thing, in order for it to be on the screen over here, then this window has to be squished because obviously I've got my webcam and live chat going. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit squished, but you should be able to make out what's going on. But rest assured, at least, well, I mean, I'm running it on full HD, so it is working fine. But unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do about that. And the bird is cheap, cheap. So anyway, so I'm going to keep two birds and I'm going to keep uh, free food. So we'll keep that. Uh, free specific food, two birds, and we'll go with that. <clears throat> Choose a bonus card. Birds with those nests? Well, to be honest, uh, wilds can count. And I don't know if the birds I've got are less than four points. I um, Can I check which ones I bought? I don't think I can. I can't remember how many points they were, but I'm going to go with nests because I've already got two wild nests, and I think that's a pretty good start already. Let's go with that one. Cool. Ah, three points and two points. Okay, I could have picked the other one. Oh, well, never mind. I think both were pretty adequate at the moment. So let's have a look. So there's the green habitat where I can collect uh, things. Moving into the yellow. What? Yes, I'm aware it's my turn. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, I see. Good for you, AI players. All right, so there's the pond. There's the mar there's the plains. And there's the forest. All right, I want to get a bird out right now. So I think I'm going to... Which one do I want to play first? Uh, I need this to be the first one in the thing because I need to have cards in my hand when I play that. So the bush tit needs to come first. So I'm going to play the bush tit. Uh, so I'm in the yellow. So if I pick bush tit. All right, green and yellow. Bear in mind, I've only like basically used the tutorial, so I don't know the menu that well. Uh, when activated, that's fine. So... Yep, so that's fine. I shall do that then. Pay. Oh, okay. It gives you trivia. <laughs> nice. It gives you bird trivia. I suspect that. I think you can turn that off in the options, I suspect, but that's cool. <laughs> I like that. So you've played a bird and you've played a common grackle. So if I want to look at theirs. Oh, yeah. I can go over theirs and. Uh, have a look at what they got. Not that I'm going to do that very often, though, so don't think it will be. See, if you play the actual game, can't you pick the birds and goals at the same time? Well, typically, yes, but, I mean, you've got to work with it on the app. So, all right, well, that's what they're doing. Good for them. Right, I need more food, so... I think I will... I can't play the seagull yet I need one more food. So I don't care what food I get because I've got everything I need. So let's go to the forest and gain a food. So I will take one of these uh, double ones. I don't particularly care which one. So I'll take a corn. And that should be... Oh! Okay. Let's have a look. I like that the AI is very quick. I mean, literally, dun, dun, and they've done. And then it gives you a summary of what they've done. So if I want to look at in detail, I can go to them, or I can just simply carry on as I was. So with two food, I'm going to, uh, let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. So I don't want to lay eggs just yet. I want, to, ah, although I do need to lay eggs. Ah, I've done this slightly wrong because... I can't use this power when I do my first egg. That's not good. Uh, maybe if I draw a card, then I've got a spare card for this, which will give me another egg to use. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Uh, so maybe that might not be a bad idea. could grab myself just a single card just to make this combo a little bit better. Otherwise, I've got to lay eggs and then play the bird. And yeah, it seems like a waste of capacity really 
I'm going to draw a card. All right, so... Flycatcher, I don't really care which one. So... Pick me... Well, let's get the cart Grebe. Let's just take that one. Okay, cool. Yeah, slightly messed up that planning, but... Uh, I don't think it's going to be too bad. Okay, then. Ready we got then. Five turns left. Whoop. Let's have a look here then. Right, now to play the other bird. So, I'm going to... Oh, no, no, I'm not playing the bird. I'm doing this power so that I can tuck a card in for that. Yeah, that's fine. So, lay some eggs. Click on birds to lay eggs. So... Okay, okay, so you just click on the bird. Fine, and that's that. And then, oh, well, the little feathers fly off it to say the card is there. So I can tuck a card from hand, and I want, um, I'm going to put this one in there because I want this gull in front of this yellow bird to make this combo really cool. So tuck a card. That's that. Lay... Lay an egg on current bird. I guess I just do the tick then. Ah, good. It does it automatically. And it shows me how many cards I've got in the top right there. And... Okay, that's cool. So... Four turns left. So as you can see from here, um, you get eight turns in round one. You get seven in round two. Uh, you get six in round three, and then five in round four. So you continuously get less and less actions in a round, but because you've got more birds on the, on your playing field, you make your turns are worth more. Like I spent two turns literally doing one food and one card, you know. But later on, you'll start doing various combos. So we shall see whether I'm on the right track. Now the second round, I'm going to suck a bit for having birds in the water if I don't do something about it. But I might decide to just ignore that gold tile. Get a little bit for this one because I'm already going to get two of those. I might get maximum points for this. I might ignore this, get points for that, and then maybe work on getting some birds in the green before the end of the game. That should work. All right, let's see. You drew birds and you've gained food. So you're just doing various things there. Okay, fine. Uh, attack of hard. All right, so I need to play this bird. I want to play this bird now. So here we go. Hello, birdie. So, this will require that. That's fine. Is that all I need to do, then? Click on the bird from any habitat to spend an egg. There we go. Franklin's gull. These gulls make floating nests of plant material on prairie marshes. I love the trivia thing. That's, that is really cool. I like that. You can turn it off if you like, but you know what? I think that's just quite good. It's a shame I can't teach this game to my dad. I mean, uh, I, I just, my dad would not be able to get all these combos and that, but he's a bird fanatic. He loves birds. The game is tailor-made for him, but I think this will be too complicated for the poor guy. All right, let's have a look. So now I'm going to lay some more eggs because then I can get more cards and tuck a card. So uh, let's do that. So lay some eggs on you. Discard one egg to draw two things. Yep, I will do so. Choose two cards. Okay, what have we got then? We got uh, Pygmy Nuthatch, Spotted Owl, and an Ash Throated Flycatcher. <laughs> uh, I need Bowl Nest, ideally, although a Cavity Nest would do well for this first round if I can get it played. But I need lots of food for that, and I just don't think that's going to happen. Uh, tuck a bird card from your hand if you do gain food from the supply. That could be a good bird, though. If I can just get it played. But then I'm going to have to spend, like, two rounds getting food. Well, let's take... Well, i got to take two cards. Let's take you as one. And I'll take one from the deck. Ah, that's not bad, actually. Yes, I like that. Okay, cool. I've chosen those two cards. That'll do nicely. Tuck a card from... Oh, i got to tuck a card from the hand as well. Um, that's not good. Uh, 
I mean, do I do the do I do him just because I can get more cards with him, or do I do the nut hatch because I need to get food either way? <laughs> I mean, I don't have to do the bush to every round, but then I kind of want to do the bush to every round. That's kind of half the point of it. Oh, which one do I put? Which one do I put behind my birdie? Greeby the nut hatch. Greeby on the nut hatch. I mean, that would mean I'll get two cards if I do the blue action, whereas here I'm only doing one. And I could do with a bird in the blue habitat at some point, but it's worth no points. And I do need a way to get more food. So I'm going to tuck. I'm going to tuck you. I'm going to tuck you. Play it on current bird. Yes. I've already got five eggs. That's good. If in doubt, always go for the one that allows you to do an action from another row. Okay. You know, you don't like the presentation of this digital version? I think this looks beautiful. I mean, the art is lovely, the animated birds, the trivia, the music's very soothing. Tutorial, as I found out, is very comprehensive. I mean, if you don't know how to play Wingspan, you will easily from the tutorial. Um, it's really sweet, actually. I think this is a really good presentation. I mean, what else would you want, really? Um, yeah, in fact, yeah, what else do you want, mate? <laughs> All right, so I could lay some eggs and just go nuts, although I haven't got room to put all the eggs on the board, so I, th I might have to spend a couple of turns just getting food. Because if I don't, there's no way to get food, and then I need to play this. So, yeah, as much as it's a little bit of a waste, there's nothing else I can really do. I need food, badly. Oh, but they're... They're horrible food, though. It's food I don't even need. That's no good. Uh, I don't think getting food's going to be any good then, because otherwise that that food's a waste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the egg thing again. No, I don't want the. Nope. I wish to go back. There we go. Right. It's a waste of an egg, but. I that food is useless. I need more cards. So, so I have to waste an egg. But then I do get to uh discard that egg. Choose two cards. Right, can I get something that uses oh, different oh these are rubbish. These are no good, they're too expensive. So rats. House finch. That might not be a bad one to get. It's a bowl nest and that. All right, House Finch could be the next card I play. Fine, fine, fine. And then tuck a card from my hand behind this bird. Well, the green one is probably better, and I just don't see myself getting two rats very easily. So I'm going to put the red-tailed hawk behind that card. Uh, that did sound. It looks like they've got the actual noises for these birds as well, or at least each group of board. I mean, that sounded like a bush... Well, actually, I don't know what sounds like a bush tip, but... Um, you know, it sounds like a small bird. That sounded like a hawk. I'll go with it. Okay, so... Lay egg on current bird. Yes. So I am full up with eggs, but I badly need food. Alright, what is in the... Oh wait, no berries. Berries is good. Alright, I shall get food. Get berries. Done. Nice, nice, nice. Would have preferred the dice to be 3D models. <sighs> Big whoop. Oh, I mean, I'm not too fast. All right, let's have a look at C here. So they didn't get any with those, so I get the full four points, and they get nothing. That is a good start already. And oh, it tells me how well you're doing on all the others. That's really cool. So blue is going to win that one. I am so going to win that one. <laughs> and so far, Badger has got a head start on that one. Okay, well, I mean... If that is the standing at the end of the game, I will be happy with that, to be honest. Let's have a look. Okay. All right. Well, next round. So they take their turns first. Oh, I was going to say, please tell me there's a corn left in the bird feeder. Yes. You've laid eggs. Good for you. You've gained food. Well, I need to gain food as well. Otherwise, I can't do nothing. So, 
I'm going to take that and choose corn. I'm wasting a lot of time trying to get food. I mean, maybe my initial stance on yellow. Well, I mean, there wasn't much else I could do. It's not like I could have put much in the green area. You know, that's just the thing. So, with that being done, I can now put the finch. There we go. Wow, finch. Get in there. And food. Pay. Good. House finch. These finches are rarely alone and can flock in the hundreds. It looks so pretty, though. Look at this pink head. Look at this pink head and everything. By the way, the bird noises are actually the bird on the card. Nice. Well, I'm going to give, you know, extra points for that. Extra points for keeping the theme good. I mean, come on. They went to that effort and they gave you a trivia. Are we really that fuss that the dice aren't free models? All right. So, well, I'm going to need more food before I can do anything else again. Although, I can get food. Although, do I need the eggs first? Well, no, because I don't have room to... Oh no, I've got six egg space on there. And then I can discard an egg to draw two cards, tuck one there, and then use the card to get more food later. So, okay, lay eggs on some birds. Click on birds to lay eggs, so I should be able to go to here and go... Whoop, there we go. So that's three, I think I've got that. I've got bowl nest, yes, it tells me I've got three. So one more and I get four points. I'll go with that. Uh, how much is this on Steam, Vala? Uh, I mentioned it at the start. It is uh, it varies depending where you are, and I think it depended on sales at the time, but I think it's around 13 to 15 quid. Uh, these digital app versions are not cheap, especially these Stonemaier ones, because they are full-fledged games. They're not just cheap mobile nonsense. So it is a little bit pricey, but, you know, and I was lucky enough to get a review copy, but... You know, it's up to you whether you consider a digital version of this that you can play with friends, family, or people online, or against the solo mode, the Automner is in this, uh, whether you consider that better than paying twice the cost for the physical version. That's down to you. Or you could just wait for a Steam sale. You know, Steam sales are good. So I've laid my eggs. Good. That is all my eggs in it. Yeah. Discard eggs. Uh, I need to discard that egg because I want to use that power in a minute. Okay, cool. So now I get two cards. Eastern Kingbird. When another player plays a green bird, gain a thing from the supply. That would be pretty juicy, actually. And it only requires one food. And it's a bowl nest. You are so mine, Mr. Kingbird. As for these two, well, I suppose a red... Do I dare say that one? <laughs> I know one of you is waiting for me to say uh, something dodgy. What? How on earth do I pronounce that one? The red... The red cockaded woodpecker, is that how it's pronounced? <laughs> Tempting. I mean, it's not the right nest, but it's uh, two food. It's a green habitat. Two bonus cards. Yeah, maybe I'm not as fussed about that one, to be honest. Um, I'm going to just take a normal card. Besides, I'm going to be putting... Ooh. Hello. All players gain one from the supply, and it's a wild nest. I might stick this pygmy one... Um behind the thing, actually. It's two food, two food. It's the wrong nest. I think these two birds are better, actually. Tuck a card from your hand. Yeah, it's gonna be the... Yeah, it's gonna be you. Sorry, pygmy. You're out of here. This is a little bit irritating. I mean, not drastically, but the thing is, as you can see, as I scroll over these, they all, like, try to fly up, and it's not like there's a huge amount of space on the thing here in order to say, oh, yeah, that's where it is. So, that's some um, kind of a little bit irritating, but it's not the end of the world. As long as you just take your time, and even then, I mean, if I... Ah, that's getting annoying. I mean, I take that. I haven't actually done the option yet until I click on this green arrow. And as long as it doesn't have a little red arrow with a line through it in there, or whatever the symbol is, then I can undo if that is the case. So that's the one I want to tuck. Lay an egg on current bird. So I got all the eggs in the world, so I'm definitely milking that goal. And I'm not going to care about the second gold tile. The second gold tile is not worth the hassle. Let's have a look at what they're doing anyway. Uh, so, so he's got all the various like pelicans and spoonbills apparently. Uh, blackbird. But it looks like he is struggling for food just as much as I am. Because, oh, he's got three bonus cards though. Yeah, that's all well and good. But if you haven't got the food to uh, do anything, then whatever. 
Whereas our badger friend has got nothing in the cards. Nothing in the eggs. And only two birds and they're all in the green. What exactly is... What exactly is the easy AI up to? Okay, well, we'll see. Is there a view for all three rows on screen? Uh, hmm. I don't know if there is. To play one, choose an... I mean, if I zoom out, I just get that. What does that do? Oh, there you go. Ask and you shall receive. So, yes, you can view a summary version of your entire board uh, by clicking on this icon on the bottom left. So, yep, no, I don't tell you that in the tutorial. And then I've got all the food, all the eggs I've got, how many actions I've got left, what's in the bird feeder. So, yeah, I mean, this is kind of your... Um, and even what's on available to buy from the bird supply. So, yeah, I mean, this is kind of like your board game summary version, if you want. But, I mean, I like the animation versions just fine. So, anyway, what was I going to do? I was going to get some food, wasn't I? Yes. Uh... <clears throat> oh, that means I've got to get rid of one of these cards, though. And also, if I'm... Oh, yeah, and will I be tucking one of these there? I don't really want to. Maybe I'll lay some more eggs. I mean, I've got room for three more eggs. I can get more cards. I could tuck one. That's That will give me the spare card I need to get the two food I need. And to be honest, I don't want nothing but fish. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll lay some more eggs. Why not? I'm milking this. So the eggs. Green habitat. One, two, three. <laughs> my, my people are just... My birds are just procreating like crazy. <laughs> it's like, please, master, please. No more. I can't take it anymore. You will lay eggs for me. <laughs> I, eat, I eat eggs on toast every morning for my breakfast. Free eggs on toast. I need my supply of eggs. <laughs> and you will provide me with eggs. Okay. Yep. Oh, whoops. Ah, no, I don't want to skip it. Oh, sorry. Good thing it gave me the warning. All right, discard that egg. Draw two cards. I honestly don't particularly care. Uh, that one and one for the deck. Because I'm going to chuck away one of these cards eventually anyway. Now, do I want to tuck a card away or shall I keep the card so that I can get more food? I'm thinking I might do that, actually. It would allow me to maybe just at least... I know it's an extra point, well, two points technically because of the bush tip, but I kind of need the cards to get a lot of food. So, you know what? I'm going to skip this power for now. Uh, yeah, because otherwise I can only use it once and then I'd play it again, but then I'll get two food after that. So I only need to do it once. So actually I can afford to tuck one card out here. So let's do... Juniper Titmouse. I don't particularly go. Why am I? Why am I getting everything with T I T as my uh, name? All right, let's tuck it in. Lay an egg and current bird. Yes, go. So I got five eggs on him and five birds tucked underneath. That's a nice point earner. Hey Kabuki Kid, thanks for turning up. Is there an option to turn the bird animations off? There might well be actually, but I mean I like the bird animations. It just makes the screen look more fluid. But, I mean, let's try and answer your question here. So, okay, so we've got settings. So, master volume. So, you can do all the volume for stuff like trivia and that. Uh, trivia, you can do never or new birds or for every bird played. So, video, that's just that. Game. Oh, there you go. So, you can turn animations off. Uh, you can turn the habitat descriptions off. You can change the language. Uh... You've even got game controller uh, support, apparently. Not Why would you want to play this with a game controller? I don't know. But yeah, yeah, you can turn animations off. But uh, sorry, I um, I like the animations. <laughs> so, meh. Uh, let's go back. But yes, if you want to turn them off, you're more than welcome to. So what do I want to do? I want to get food. Ah, good. He left me with a... Now, this would be a good time to test how you can re-roll the dice. Because I need to know how that works. So... Let's gain food. So if I choose that and get an invertebrate. So reset the bird feeder can be done with all showing the same symbol, but I need to discard a card in order to actually do that. So oh, that means I won't be able to do the house finch. 
Uh, it's no big deal. I need food more than anything else. So discard a card. Discard you. And then choose food. So this should allow me to re-roll the entire bird feeder. And that was about as unlucky as I could possibly get. Nope, nope. I'm saved as long as I take a berry. Yes, berry is fine. I'll take a berry. Now, do I want to tuck a card? I don't know if I do, because I quite like these two birds. They are the nests I need, and they are that. So, you know what? I will forego this power. Yes, I want to forego this power. Sorry, House Finch. I'll come back to you later. Uh, what's that? I'm the weirdo who likes my games to be uber zen. Well, isn't this uber zen with the animations? I think it's cute. Ah, oh, well, to each their own. Uh, love game controller support since I mostly play on a big screen from the couch. Yeah, okay. If you're not on the laptop, that's fine. Uh, still need to try this game solo. Yeah, I mean, I haven't tried it with the Automna, obviously, because this is the first actual game I'm playing on here. Literally, all I did was run through the tutorial quick just to get a half-decent use of the interface. Uh, but I did not play it in advance because I wanted to show you guys what it's like when you pretty much just jump in blind. Okay, two turns left this round. I, again, do not care about the blue thing because, let's face it, if I look at their habitats, there's two birds there and one bird there. So there is just no point. There's no point doing it. Go on, duck. Quack. Quack. Hmm. So do I get... So I've got the two food, so I need to play a bird. And I'm thinking... When another player plays a green bird, gain a thing. That could be lucrative... But then this one has more room for eggs. But then it doesn't really matter. Well, actually, it does matter because I haven't got room for any eggs. <laughs> so uh, I'm supposed to be wasting an egg, but then I'm relying on the other players playing green birds. And like I say, if it gets me worms, 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 it will do me nicely. So, but there is more room for the Eastern Phoebe. Uh I'm going to take a chance and forego the kingbird, actually, because I do need space for the eggs. Otherwise, when I come to do the egg power in a minute, I'm going to waste my time. So, you, Eastern, Eastern Phoebe, you shall be on there. All players gain a worm. And I'm going to spend... Doesn't matter. I'll spend the... I'll spend the berry. Why not? Let's hear some trivia. Oh, need to spend an egg first. Okay, fine. I'll... That one's fine, whatever. Eastern Phoebe. Phoebes use mud to attach nests to riverbanks, rocky outcrops, or human structures. I know very little about birds, so I'm learning something here. Okay, so look. Oh, great. So you play a bird in your green thing now when I decide not to play the king bird. That is annoying. <laughs> How dare you, sir? I just realized I played the Phoebe in my yellow habitat by mistake. That was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Whoops. That was my bad. And I can't undo it now. Ah. Uh, I suppose that's not the end of the world, though, because I could still play this one in there and get it to the two. Which, to be fair, I just want to get it to there. So that's good enough for me, really. So... Okay, fine, let's do that then. Yeah, yeah, this was where I was meant to play the bird. This is me being an idiot. Click on the bird from any habitat. I don't really care, really. You're always getting more eggs, so fine. Eastern Kingbird. The Kingbird displays its orange crown while defending its territory. Yeah, no points for that. That's a little bit annoying that the trivia comes on while this thing is doing noises and trying to calculate the goals. That's kind of like a, hmm. I wish it would, like, do the trivia and then do the goal fit. You know, don't overlay the sound. Okay, so well, that's no big deal. I mean, they gained zero points in the first round. I gained four. They're only just slightly ahead of me on goals. But uh, I'm in good contention to fight for some points in round four, if I can get more green birds. And they have no chance in any 
kingdom of birddom to, uh, you know, to get me on the yellows. So, uh, we shall see. All right, cool. Round three. So here I need eggs, so I need to make certain that my... F I mean, actually, maybe it was a good thing to put a third bird in my yellow thing then, because it guarantees that there's no way they'll be able to get more um, eggs in this bird. All right, so I got no food at all. So I could get myself a worm with that. I can draw a bunch of cards. I, I got no cards and no food, so I need to do this. Okay, fine. Lay some eggs. Uh... One, two, three. We need to populate these yellow birds. Gain uh, food. Yes, I know it's all players, but it includes me, more importantly. Uh, I want to discard an egg from green habitat. Ah. But then I... Nope, nope, I don't want to do that. Nope. Uh, can I click on a different egg? There we go, yeah. I was going to say, because I know that's from the yellow habitat, but then I'm about to lay an egg on this bird because I'm about to draw two cards and tuck one. So let's uh, do that. Okay, discard cards. Egg left, fine. Choose two cards. Ooh, trumpeter swan. Nine points. But that's the wrong nest. Doesn't really help me with any other things. Let me draw... Hmm... Am I going to get free food anytime soon? I'm not convinced. Hmm. I mean, it's a big bird. But it doesn't line up with what I'm trying to achieve. I mean, I'm trying to spam this for eggs as well as uh, get more in my green area. So you know what? I'll have to draw from here. Yeah, that's more like it. And I'll draw another one from there. Another yellow bird. So I could actually play both of these in my yellow habitat and have two birds out in one go. That isn't going to help me with this particular goal, though. So maybe that's... Oh, I'm going to tuck a bird anyway. So maybe I'll tuck this one and keep the flicker for the other thing. Okay, fine. So done. Yeah, tuck a card from my hand. So I will play the northern flicker at some point. So I'm going to get rid of the blue bird. And that lays an egg on there. There we go. And I've got at least three more egg rooms on Eastern Phoebe, so fine. Come on. Play a green bird. You've drawn birds? No, play a green bird. You've laid eggs. Boring. Big bird? What type of bird was big bird? Good question. <laughs> big, big yellow, weird, crazy... It was an emu, was No, no, emu was emu. The pink one. Um... I think it was just Big Bird. I'm not entirely sure. Did it have a type? Somebody in the comments. Let me know. The Sesame Street character. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, cool. So, Northern Flicker. I have got a food, so I can play the Northern Flicker. And I kind of need to get something in the green row pronto. So, not to mention it will give me room to do that. So, why don't we do that? Yes, why don't we indeed? So, let's play... Flicker. Spend an egg. Uh, I'd rather spend an egg from green. Northern Flicker. These woodpeckers seek out ground dwelling insects rather than pecking wood. Fair enough. I suppose one thing about hearing the trivia is that I've got all the volume set on max. I think if I was playing this again, I would probably turn the music a little bit down, maybe turn some of the sound effects a little bit down, keep the trivia on 100, and then that would keep it on max. So that's pretty good. Really? It was a canary? There's one big-ass canary. Okay, fine. Uh... Oh, gain all... Ah, I maybe should have paid attention to its when played power, gain all things that are in there. Uh... Oh, that's... Uh, I thought that was... Oh, I thought that was a brown power. I am not with it tonight. Oh, well, fine. I still wanted to play it. So, it's a bit too late now. Ah, he nicked the trumpeter swan. Oh, that's a nine-point bird for him. That's no good. All right, fine. Well, I wasted my chance to get some... Although, to be fair, there's not a lot of food in there. And I need more cards. So... 
Uh, I can get a food from that. But I can just lay a bunch of eggs, which is just as good. So it's all points. So one, two, three. Gain a food. Discard an egg. Oh, do I want to tuck a card though? Yeah, probably because I'm enjoying this part. So yeah, let's um, discard an egg from you. Choose two cards. What have we got then? Oh, blue and blue. I don't want blue. I mean, granted, that's not bad. And when played, get free fish. But I don't need these birds. And that raven is way too expensive. I mean, yes, I've got all the eggs in the world to use its ability. But by the time I get free food, I mean, I've got... Actually, I could spend the food to get free food. And there's already a rat in the dice feeder. Maybe this one is doable. You know what? You shall be one of my cards. And I'll draw the other one from the deck. Uh, don't particularly care. Nah, not interested in you. Alright, fine. Tuck a card from hand. Snowy, you can go away. Oh. Well, the other one is tuck a card to draw a card. This one is tuck a card to get an egg. It's the same amount of points either way. So it doesn't really make a lot of difference. So I'm more interested in... It doesn't matter where I tuck a card as long as I tuck cards somewhere. Then I can current bird. Lily. Come on, one of you play a green bird. Although preferably not the badger. So you laid eggs. You've laid eggs. Remember, you only have to win a category. doesn't matter how much. Yeah, I know, but, uh, you know... At least while I've got this many eggs on birds, they're all points, if nothing else. So, you know, granted, I'm like miles in the lead for this. You know, 11 to 0, so I'm not too fast. But uh, I do have one more green bird than them. So if I could get a fourth green bird, that would solidify round four's gold tile. So I know I'm already good for round three. I mean, that was a given. Okay, fine. Let's have a look. Haven't found any more bowl nests, though. Although, I do only need one more to get seven points. So, if I can find one more wild or bowl nest before the end of the game, that would be good. All right, so I have got some food, but I need to... Well, that's perfect. I need a rat, and I could take those other free food, and I could play the raven on my next turn. Ah, but I need to spend a card to get the food. Uh... Yeah, that's not ideal. Um, I thought I could spend food to get another food. I don't know why I even thought that. I suppose I could just get eggs. I got all the eggs in the world. Let's just get eggs. <laughs> Let's just get eggs. Why not? Let's spam it for all that matters. All right, lay some eggs. Uh, one, two, three. At least I'm going to get a lot of points that way. Do I spend my food? No, I do not wish to spend my food for more eggs. So, gain a food. Uh, discard eggs. Choose two cards. These are not good at all. Hey, there's my bowl nest. Gain three corn, two corn, yellow. Yep, you're given by the end of the game. Oh, I could even use you. Ooh, it's one of those uh, ones that flies around the place. Ooh, choices, choices, choices. Uh... You should always play birds worth seven or more points. I beg to differ. I don't think you have to. As long as you, even if your birds are cheap, if you're getting points by other means, in my case, I'm doing it via the gold tiles and a bucket load of eggs. That tends to be fine. I'll prove it to you by beating the AI who went out of his way to get the trumpeter nine point swan. <laughs> oh well, these are good cards actually. Tuck a card from hand. Well, I could get rid of the raven then. Oh, actually, no. That, uh, that raven is good power, but I don't want that type of nest. I want uh, these nests. I mean, I could get... Uh, but then where am I going to get four... Well, actually, well, no. If I play that, I get free corn, and that gives me the corn I need to play the Groove Gospreak, which would be another egg for that. That's better than the raven. But then discard a thing for an egg is nice. <laughs> Do I really think I'm going to be using a blue Grosbeak? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I do want the balls. I do want the balls preferably. And like I say, if I get two corn... Ah, but then I need to get food. 
and the dice in the bird feeder are back. Can I look at the bird feeder? Is there a way to look at the bird feeder? Uh, I can't see the bird feeder because I'm in this... Uh... Aha, there we go. So what's in the bird feeder? Yeah, two rats and a fish. I won't be able to get the two corn to get the gross beak out in the first place. Not unless somebody takes the food now, but the, there's no guarantee of that. And at least this one means I can get two food. So maybe I'll get rid of the gross beak then. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that one. Ah, but then I don't want to get rid of the food. So you know what? Actually, no, I... Oh, press the right mouse button, you get the trivia. <laughs> so I can see the trivia anyway. All right, actually, I'm going to keep the card. I'm going to keep the card because I think I need cards. I need cards. So let's skip that power. Sorry, that took a while. I wish there would be a way to integrate penguins. <laughs> uh, in terms of expansions, we've had Europe. Uh, this app does not include the European expansion. I mean, very rarely does an app... In fact, I don't even know where an app is including the expansion on day one. So I'm sure it will come eventually. But, you know, that will be DLC, I'm sure. Probably expensive DLC. Uh, the next expansion releasing later this year is Oceana. Uh, that will be interesting because I know nothing about Oceana in general, let alone that. Uh, Lord knows when South America will happen. Uh, I mean, I thought the first expansion was pretty much... America and South America, but maybe it was just North America. Mm. Right, uh, what was I doing? Yes, I don't want to lay any more eggs. I've got enough eggs as it is. I need food, and I want to play that raven, so I need all these rats. Although I suppose I can play the invertebrate, so I could always re-roll the thing. I only need one rat. Yeah, why not? So gain food, so that's... Ah, but I need... If I'm going to re-roll it, I need to take the fish. So, I'd need to take both of them anyway. Oh, well. Let's take a rat. Let's take a... Let's take two... Let's take two rats, then. Um, and then I can take a third one by getting rid of a card. But then I don't want to get rid of a card. I've got enough food as it is. And I would like to be able to use the house finch. But then I like these birds. So, I probably won't tuck a card from my hand. Nah, probably won't, so I'm not going to discard a card then. In that case, I'll just take the two food and carry on as I was. Oh, but when am I going to get... Well, somebody else might roll the dice and get me some corn, so that would be good. Tuck a card from hand. No, because I'm going to get that one, which is going to allow me to play that one, and the common raven is going to get me the food I need to get that one, so No. I know I'm sort of giving up a point or two, but I've got to think about the long game, not the short term. One turn left. Why have none of you played any green bird since I played the king bird out? Literally, none of you have done that. Waste of a king bird. Anyway, right, with all this food, I should be able to play a green bird out. So, common rate... Well, actually, do I want to play it in the green section? Yes, because the next gold tile is about green birds. Idiot. And then I can gain a ton of food to play all these other birds. So, yeah, of course I want to play it in the green section. All right, so common raven. Uh, two green. No, I want to keep a green. So let me change that. I want to play with a rat. I want to play with a green. And I want to play with the other rat. I want to keep a green. So keep the green. Then all I need is corn. Uh, spend an egg. Or well, spend two eggs, in fact. Okay, well, like I say, I want to keep the yellow eggs, so uh, let's just get rid of them from here. Common raven. Ravens are omnivores whose diet includes insects, rodents, eggs, birds, and carrion. Eats carrion? You. Everybody's talking about South American birds and putting on penguins and kiwis. Okay, fine. Actually, I don't know. Penguins would be cool. Uh, although, would that be the South American expansion? I can't imagine they'll do an Antarctica expansion. I mean, how many... <laughs> is that the only bird? Okay, well, yes. I cleaned that one away. So, um, five points for blue, five points for yellow, and ten points for me. Yeah, I'm owning the gold tiles, and it looks like I'm going to do at least seven, if not 
there's no way he's getting three green birds this round. No way. I've got seven there. This is in the bag. This is in the bag. The blue AI doesn't seem to be doing as well as the yellow, I must admit, though. And he's supposed to be the one on normal. Yep, five turns left. Let's have a look. You've laid eggs and drawn birds. Again, none of you want to play a green bird. Fine. See if I care. All right, well, I need food. I want to use that power. I want to not tuck a card. So maybe I should go lay eggs for... Oh, hang on. Oh, I've only got four turns. I've got five turns. Haven't I, uh... Five turns this round. I need two turns to play these two birds. I will need to get food at least once. Uh, so I can afford to do eggs laying at least one more time. Okay, that's fine. So maybe I'll just do some eggs first and get some card. Or get another card so that I can tuck it behind there. Yeah, that'll work. Plus it will also give me another food to spend on stuff. In fact, I could spend the food I've got to get an egg, which will then get me another food in order to get the egg. <laughs> so that'd be pretty sweet. All right, let's get some more eggs. Click on the bird to lay eggs. Uh, I need them on bowl nest. Don't, no, it doesn't, actually, no, it doesn't matter. So, Okay, fine. Do I want to spend the food to... The, yeah, I only need one green, and I'm about to get another green anyway, so... Get another egg. Gain an egg from the supply. Discard eggs uh, from wherever. It doesn't really matter. Draw two cards. Hooded Warbler. Uh, Wilson Snipe. Uh, the Warbler might be tempting, actually. Well, let's take two cards anyway. House Wren. That is a one-point bird. Ooh, but play a second bird in your habitat. Yeah, but it's one point. Who don't cares? Now, let's get rid of the Wren. Wren is not particularly useful. Not at this stage of the game, anyway. House Wren. I know, yes, I can play it because it's a single bird, but it's one point, and it will cost me a couple of eggs to do so. What's the point? Play egg and current bird. Done. Come on, what if you play a green bird? Aha! He played a nutcracker in his green area. So, yay, I gained another green. Lovely. You can make a lot of bonus points early if you get out predators and scavengers. I've not seen anybody do as well with having a ton of them because they... Well, actually, tell a lie. I did well once when I had a bunch of the ones that look through the deck for wingspans. That was okay, but the ones that are based on other players and the bird feeder... Yeah, they didn't do so well. Okay, anyway, what am I doing? Yes, I've already got those, so I need... F I've got two, so I could play the Warbler, actually, and to be fair, it's a seven-point bird. I think that's probably better than... And it means I can gain free food and discard a card. Yeah, might as well play the Hooded Warbler, actually. That's better than playing the, uh... I only need one bowl nest. Yeah. Yeah, you wanted me to play a uh, seven-point bird, so I'll give you that wish. So, Hooded Warbler. Habitat to spend eggs. Hooded warbler. This bird spends its time in the understory and nests within a few feet of the ground. A little bit too close to the ground, isn't it? These birds all look so cute. I want like a big Avery. <laughs> One big Avery. I wish I could. Can I click on the bird and get them to make a cheapy noise? <laughs> I can. If I click on the birds. Can I create a musical? <laughs> the bird the bird a the bird symphony musical, everybody. <laughs> alright, alright, enough fooling around. But yeah, yeah, okay, so I can click on the bird and get a raven. There you go. Fine, let's see. Right, I need food to play more birds. I need to roll those dice, and I can get whatever food I like, actually. So, let's gain food. I'm going to re-roll all of those, because a fish is useless. Corn, sweet, lovely corn. 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 
And an invertebrate. And not going to get rid of a card. Because that's more than enough. To gain two food from the supply? Well, let's see. I'm going to gain three corn, so I've got all the food I need. And I've only got two more actions left, so I don't actually need to use the Raven's Power after all that. Because I play two corn for the Gold Hawk, who gives me three corn from the supply. I then use the green invertebrate with the coo corn I got from there to play the Grossbeak. Uh, yeah. I actually don't need to discard an egg. I will skip. Attack a card from hand? No. Because I'm going to play these birds. I don't exactly have many actions left anyway, so... <laughs> No Python fans? Well, if you're talking Monty Python, uh, I love Monty Python. If you're talking Python as in the actual snake, I don't mind snakes. Two turns left. That's fine. I'm going to play two birds. So this will be a quick round. Now, to be honest, I'm not going to gain more eggs. So, actually, is it better just to gain more eggs? I was going to say, yeah, I could play the birds, but then I get... With the food I've got, I get four eggs. If I don't do his power to draw cards, I keep four eggs. And then I tuck a card from behind the bird. That's five points. And then I get to lay a card, an egg on that bird. That's six. That's six points. That's twice the value of playing this bird. And unless I play the Grosbeak, I've got to discard eggs in order to play said bird. Ah, but I do need... Well, that's okay. I only need one more um, bowl. I'll play the Grossbeak. I'll play it in my water habitat where it doesn't cost me an egg. That's a better deal, to be honest. So, all right then. Blue. Or is it worth playing in yellow? Nah, because I'll just spend the food and get an extra thing. What does it matter? Ah, I don't have the extra food. It's one extra point. Why, why am I even trying to uh, be too fussy? Not even worth... Fussing about. Oh, but I'm about to gain a food from the supply. So actually, yeah, it's worth it. So, okay. Fine. So I'll lay eggs. Uh, lay an egg in there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this. Spend the food. Get rid of the green to get another egg. I then gain a food from the supply. I choose not to do that so it's not worth the risk uh, so skip but now rather than play the gold finch I will simply just tuck it behind this card because that gets me a point for the card as well ah well I didn't ah idiot uh, well it doesn't matter I had to draw two cards well maybe I'll get something better all right, let's undo the turn. All right, I will discard an egg from there to draw two cards. Maybe I'll get something that's worth more points that I can put in the blue. So, yeah, that's worth one extra point, but I need the bowl nest. I need the bowl nest. So unless I get two from there. What's that one? What's that settler? Ah, come on. That would cost me too many eggs. Not worth it. Uh, tuck a card from hand. <clears throat> Could have sworn that was wheat. Any bird reference I know is coconut laden sparrow. Great gag. Dead parrot sketch. Yeah, I remember that one. I don't... Wait a minute, coconut laden sparrow? I know about like African and European swallow, but uh, I don't know. I forget about the sparrow one. I, don't know. I watch Holy Grail pretty much religiously. I haven't watched a lot of the other ones in a while. Yeah. In fact, I haven't seen a swallow in this game. Why is there no American swallow? Alrighty. So, yep. So now I need to play a bird. Uh, fine. Actually, hang on a minute. No, 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 I need the ball nest. I need the ball nest, Luke. Stay on target. Stay on target. So I'm going to play you. You don't cost me an egg. 
pay the food. Boom. Seven points. Blue is going to lose this game horribly at this rate. Unless I've missed something. <laughs> so we'll look then. Birds on cards. I'm probably going to lose this category. Yeah, but not by much. I get more for the bonus. I easily cream them on that. And yeah, watch me just own the eggs. Boom. <laughs> by the pricking of my thumb, something winged this way comes and I've lost track of those uh, uh, things. <laughs> So, all right, so it gives you a nice summary of the score. So I, so blue did better on the birds, uh, slightly better on me, I'm um, better on bonus cards. I did much better on round goals, did better on the eggs, food on cards. I don't remember having a food on the card. So where did that come from? And tucked cards way more. So I thought yellow was actually doing better than blue, but uh, clearly not. So wait a minute, I can replay the whole game? I want to replay the entire game. Alright, so there's the overview. There's that. So you can go back to uh, there and there. Details? Ah, that's quite cool. So, oh, I didn't have any food on cards, and nor did he, so that's fine. So it just tells you how many points. So he had 39 points. Well, he did have a trumpet of swan. Replay, fine. Alright, so I mean, uh, uh, don't think I've got time to do another one, to be honest. Uh, what's the time now? It is... 10.07, yeah, I don't want this stream to be ridiculously long there, uh, but maybe like on another day I'll do another stream and I'll do, uh, you know, I'll do another Wingspan game because I, I hope to do more of these a bit more frequently uh, because, you know, this stream seems to have worked, you can see it on the screen, okay, yeah, the aspect ratio has to suffer slightly, but then that's the same with everybody else unless you, unless I can, well, I don't have a green screen so I can't put myself anywhere and I want the live chat to be viewable on the screen as people watch the video, so, but yeah, I think that's gone pretty well so I can do more of these more often and I'll do more Wingspan games in the future once I've done some other apps. Um, just looking at this more, I mean, clearly easy AI is too easy. I mean, I've played Wingspan a lot. I don't say I'm an expert, but I think I can play it reasonably well and I'm not making stupid mistakes like some of the ones I did this game. Uh, but yeah, like absolutely cream the easy AI. The normal barely got the 68. Although you say play it against a difficult, uh, a difficult opponent. It didn't give me the option when I started. So if I choose play now and go custom game, it doesn't give me the option to do a difficult opponent. Human, easy, normal. Human easy normal, human easy normal. It doesn't give me the option. Now, whether that means you've got to play a certain amount of games in order to get the, uh, you know, that sort of thing, I don't know. But hard to say. What have we got that? that uh, check out a program called XSplit to get rid of background without green screen. I've heard of this program, but... I don't know, it's it's a lot to sort of take in, but I mean, I don't mind this. I mean, okay, so the aspect ratio is a little s squished. It's not the end of the world. I mean, let's face it, it's more squished on, I think, Tom Vassell's one, so... So what can you do in this? So goal mat... Oh, I see, so you can change the side of the goal mat, and turn order is random and custom. I don't see any point why you would play with this many AI, because... You barely look at the other AI. I mean, Wingspan is a fairly multiplayer solitaire game. So it's cool to be able to play with a couple of AI, though, just to play with those. Um, and of course, you could play with the Autumner. And can you play with players? I didn't realize you could play with the Autumner and other players. Okay, that's interesting. Might have to try that sometime after I've given the Autumner a go. Although <laughs> the idea of playing a mechanical bird is quite amusing to say the least let's see all right and then the tutorial is very good as well preserve archive uh, that's just the game uh play online with friends settings i'm just going to turn the master volume down a bit let's have a look at the chat shall we uh have a look at the chat quick 
play the Automne the next time. I will, don't worry. Uh, must be an unlock. It's either an unlock, maybe I've got to play so many games, or perhaps it's not in the game yet, and they will take feedback and put it in as a DLC bit. Who knows? Uh, Puffins. You have influenced me to try this out solo, but only in the physical mode. Hey, as long as you're playing the game, that's good. Uh... I did Automna and Normal a few times. It was pretty tough, especially the feeder economy. Okay, worth checking out. I mean, I do like the Automna. Yeah, I don't like those. How's Wingspan, the game and the implementation? Okay, you've literally only just turned up to the video. Um, um, in terms of what I think of it, though, I mean, first impressions, I think this is a brilliant app, to be honest. There are some minor annoyances with the selection of the cards where I was trying to select a particular card and the mouse cursor kept, like, shuffling up loads of them that was a little bit annoying i don't know if there's a way for me to change that uh it doesn't really give me an easy way to do it by looking at the controls uh show high tool tips overview choose a card to play i mean i suppose if you go to that summary menu then you get around that problem so i guess it's just however you want to play it it's a small niggle i can get by without worrying too much about that but I like the animations. I mean, you can turn them off and on if you want. You don't want the animations and just turn them off. Uh, I like the descriptions. I like the trivia. I think the trivia is really cool. In fact, I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to turn music volume down a bit. Yeah, so master volume up there. Music volume. That's effect. And trivia is definitely going to get activated. And I'm going to put it on for every bird because that's quite cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks beautiful. It sounds beautiful. It's very smooth. I mean, even while streaming, it did not put a uh, foot wrong. Uh, the tutorial is excellent. It's very comprehensive. The online mode I have not tried. So as long as that works fine, that's all cool. The Automna is there. The AI is there. The AI is a bit easy, though. That is the problem. So I suppose if you're playing this solo like me, you're going to just want the Automna and the normal AI to have a proper challenge. They're going to need to up the difficulty at some point. And of course, I look forward to them putting European expansion and Oceana eventually in the long run. And, you know, you even learn something about birds. So presumably, if I click on here... Uh... Yeah, so you get like a gallery of all the birds that you played in the game that you can look at. Well, not even that you played. I mean, I didn't play him. Oh, yes, I did play him, actually. Yeah, I did play him. So you get a few. Tells you where it's from. Common raven. Ravens are omnivores whose diet includes insects, rodents, eggs, birds, and carrion. I'm not sure why I needed to hear that when I can just read it, but I guess depending on your language. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Can you use a PS4 controller or does it use only the Xbox controller? I have not got a clue. I do not use a controller with any game. So that one, I think we might have to leave it to the comments to answer that one. Uh, the most important question is, have you watched Fury from the Deep yet? <laughs> All right, slightly off topic, but I mean, it's, it's a recent Doctor Who DVD I bought. And yes, I have watched it. And yes, I did think it was really, really good. I mean, I can imagine that would have been freaky as all get out uh, when people watched it back in the 60s. But uh, I still thought it was pretty good watching the animation. Uh, card selection is annoying. I agree. That is a bit of a minor niggle. Uh, tr I turn the music off unless they seem useful. Fine. None of the birds I've seen so far seem OP. No, I don't think any of the birds are OP. It depends when you get them, what you do with them. And people will say, well, it's too lucky. Wingspan's too lucky. And it's like, it's a game that I can, if I wasn't chatting to you on stream or something, I could probably play it in half an hour, 40 minutes. And it takes about 90 minutes tops to play it with real people, depending on how many players you have. Obviously, I never play it with uh, five and I ideally don't want to play it with four. I prefer two or three. Uh, but yeah, you're talking 90 minutes tops for most games of Wingspan. It's light, fluffy, gorgeous, easy to play. E well, my parents would never understand it, so it's semi-easy. <laughs> but to play with my parents, it has to be dirt simple. And uh, it's just an awesome game. I love it. It's a it's a 10 out of 10 game for me, I think. Uh, and, you know, so it, it just does well. As for this app, I there's only two minor niggles. I mean, AI could be heavier... 
and this card selection is annoying. I like the music and the sound effects and the trivia, and you can tailor it to your heart's content. Uh, the price is high, but then it's getting a good quality. I think this is a 10 out of 10 app. The, the issues I have with it are minor and not big enough to cause me that much issue to drop it to 9 out of 10. I think this is brilliant. It just needs to have the DLC come out and not be too expensive. Uh, it needs to uh, maybe increase the difficulty uh, by putting a difficult AI in there or at least revealing how you unlock the difficult AI because there has to be a way. Uh, but you can play online in that. I just think solid production from Monster, is it Monster Couch who's done this. Uh, they did it. Cheers for the review copy. That has not in any way, you know, augmented my feelings of the game. I think this is just really solid and I can I can see myself playing this more often in the future. And yeah, if you want to see more of this on stream, then I will. Uh, is it still early access? No, you can buy it now. It was released on the 19th, I think, or something like that. So you can buy it on Steam really ready now. Uh, compared to the Terraforming Mars... It is sort of an engine builder, but it's more tactical than, well, to be fair, so is Terraform in Mars. They are both engine builders in a sense. I mean, it's a tableau builder, you could be specific, but you still, I mean, I had a really good engine going with the yellow habitat, giving me eggs and cards and food. So I got my needs from one row. So there is sort of an engine builder, but then Wingspan is kind of in terms of enjoyment and worthness. Uh, worthiness it's uh wingspan's kind of up here and terraforming mars is kind of um down down here maybe more down down here but you know so not really much of a come uh 10 off yeah it's not exactly a sale if you're buying it now it's launch day come on give me a break you know it's gonna be expensive so you either get it now pay a bit of money for it or you wait for it to turn up in the black friday or christmas sales uh actually do we get an October sale? I think we get a sale in October, don't we? I'm not sure. Steam has them all throughout the year, but certainly I would have imagined Black Friday and uh, Christmas will certainly generate a sale. Uh, can I do a playthrough video of Root and Terraforming Mars? I could do a Terraforming Mars one at some point. I mean, I don't love the game, but I could play a solo mode of it. Um, I do not actually have Root. I could get Root and try it. I mean, I, I don't mind Root, but I could barely understand what I was doing the last time I played it because it's impossible to get it to the table. But I'll, I'll certainly try it. But let me exit this and show you, because uh, it'll still be on my screen capture, what I have in my library. So if I go to downloads, I basically updated my Steam on this laptop. Here and Oh, I won't show what I've recently downloaded. Downloads? Nope. All right, so you'll just have to look on the side here. So, okay, so this is my Steam from my main gaming pc and i do have games that i play elsewhere like stellaris deep rock galactic and a few others but that's from my main pc all i have done is downloaded my board games on here so i've got carcassonne uh i'm not gonna download uh, blood rage again because i think that digital edition was pretty naff um and i don't like between two castles uh carcassonne uh, so yeah carcassonne uh, Flashpoint Fire Rescue, I'll definitely do a play of that because I've yet to actually play that. I want to see if that's any good. Uh, Galaxy Trugger, I tried the app. It's a good app, but I don't like the game. So I probably should uninstall... Well, I haven't downloaded it here, but I should probably uninstall it off the other system. Uh, Hive, I haven't downloaded it yet. I might have to sort that out. Isle of Sky, uh, why is that not downloaded? I'm not sure. I'll sort that out. Uh, Lord of the Rings Adventure Card Game, it's fine, but I've kind of completed all there is to it now. Mystic Veil, fantastic. Uh, patchwork, Potion Explosion, Raiders of the North Sea, Race for the Galaxy, Roll for the Galaxy. I've yet to try that one out. Uh, Scythe Digital Edition, Sentinels in the Multiverse. Of course, did you honestly think I was not going to have the Sentinels in the Multiverse app on this system? Uh, Smash Up, uh, Stockpile. I have yet to try that app out. Uh, let's see if that's any good. Tabletop Simulator, of course. Uh, Tabletop Simulator, Takinoko, Terraforming Mars, Through the Ages with the expansion, Ticket to Ride with, I think, every single map pack in it, Takedo, and, of course, Wingspan. So, by all means, let me know in the comments what you would like me to play solo, and I will arrange a stream for it because, uh, I mean, this stream has gone on a little bit long, but I reckon I could keep it to an hour if I'm on target, and, uh, you know, I'll do more solo plays in the future because it means I get to have fun. I get to play more games, I get to interact with you, and I get to put some content out on the channel. And my throat seems to have managed to write, even though I have a, 
emptied out this mug, and I've only got this much left in here, so... Hopefully my throat is now at a point where I might be able to start recording some more videos, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let me know if any of those games I listed take your fancy that you would like me to play. Let me know in the comments. Uh, alternatively, let me know if there's any board game apps I did not list in that selection that you would like me to try and get and download. Because I might just simply be unaware that there's a good app for it. It might not necessarily be the fact that I don't like the game. So by all means, let me know what you would like to see on a solo play front. Any last bits? Uh, uh, excited for Brass Berman a map in 2021? I certainly ain't, I can tell you that. Uh, yes, I have heard good things about Root. Uh, I, it looked good, but I've not played the app, so that might have to be maybe one that I uh, give a shot, especially as, as John says, the tutorial was really good. So how about that? Uh, take care, Kabuki Kid. Uh, I'll play Terraforming Mars with you. Maybe I can try and do that. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily be on the stream with voice unless we do a Discord chat. I don't know. I'd have to work that out. But maybe I could do some group games in the future. Spirit Island. Uh, that is one. That's another complicated one, though. We've got any simpler ones to do. Um, yeah, Raiders and Aussie doesn't have the expansions. It's a little bit lacking without it. Uh, Carcassonne app is good. Yes, I do agree. Underwater Cities app would be good, but uh, there isn't one. And that's kind of it. Yes, I think for an hour, 20 minutes, I think we're good now. So, yep, <clears throat> that's it for me. I'm going to go play some other games, I think. Or maybe I'll go watch uh, some movies or maybe watch... Um, I've got the other Doctor Who thing downstairs, actually. What's it called? The Faceless Ones. I didn't even realize it was out. It's been out for six months. I didn't have it. I might go watch that uh, while also reading the rules to some games because uh, Tekenu is on my table at the moment, which I've been recording some B-roll footage for. There will be a review, a review coming for that soon. But I need to get uh, Splendor Marvel unboxed. I need to learn the rules to Whistle Stop. I need to learn the rules for Mysterium Park. I need to learn the rules for Gods Love Dinosaurs. I've got that over there as well. I've got a lot of games that have arrived recently, and they're all going to get played at the Games Club tomorrow evening. So uh, anyway, um, yep, that'll do for me. So take care, everyone. I'll see you on the next episode. Uh, remember, it's only a game. Thanks for turning up. Thanks for interacting with me. And uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of the stream in general. Did, did it look good? Could you hear the audio? Could you see the picture? Did it work? And uh, I will certainly look into doing more of these solo plays. So take care. Have a good night, morning, afternoon, wherever time zone you're in. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everyone.